Buenas tardes. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Jose Maria Castellano, the scientific director of Fundación HM Hospitalis, and on behalf of the Abarca Sidon family, and on behalf of all of us who are part of HM Hospitalis, I'm happy to bid you a very cordial welcome to this ceremony. We're going to be now handing over the second Abarca Prize, Dr. Juan Abarca Abarca Prize. I have to say that I am truly honored to have all of you with us this afternoon. This is a milestone event. Dr. Silvia Calzón, Secretary of State, Minister of Health, Mrs. Raquel Yoti, Secretary of Research, Ministry of Science, Javier Ferris Daschetti of the Madrid Regional Government, Dr. Juana Barca, Dr. Sidon, President of HM Hospitalis, members of the Abarca family, President and members of the jury, recipient of the award, ladies and gentlemen. We are here tonight because we want to underscore how very important science, research, and medicine are and must continue to be in society. This is because there is commitment, engagement, and passion. This is what defines a healthcare professional. And this, of course, is what Dr. Juana Barca upheld as an underlying and basic uh, principle of his professional trajectory, and which is, in fact, the essence and pillar of uh, our activities as part of the organization of the Abarca Prize. We have, of course, provided support to the scientific and medical sector. Society is a witness to drastic changes in our lives, and we see how very important science and research is in the recovering of normalcy. So with the aim of casting a spotlight and thanking those persons who have devoted their lives to research, we see the appearance of the Dr. Juan Abarca, Abarca Prize in the year 2021. Today, we celebrate Today, we underscore our commitment vis-a-vis -vis work, talent, and research. This is a prize that goes beyond our borders, but which, of course, bears our stamp and ensures that our country is visible within the global healthcare scenario. We take inspiration in Dr. Juana Barca, who focused on patient-centered medicine and who has been instrumental in transforming the private healthcare scene in Spain over these past years. Ever since the beginning of our activities, we know that we need to provide responses. We know that there are new paths that are full of possibilities. We need to be rigorous, passionate, and vocation is par excellence essential because we want to transform, create, and continue to evolve. Today, more than ever before, the hard work of doctors and scientific researchers is front of line. The International Abarca Prize, Abarca Prize, I repeat, underscores the importance of all of those persons who do as Dr. Juana Barca did, devote their lives to making the lives of others better. There is exceptional commitment here if we think about progress. It is an acknowledgement, an acknowledgement of the hard work of the professionals of medicine and science who tirelessly work to ensure that healthcare is provided to men and women the world over. This is the second edition of the Abarca Prize, and another step is taken towards the acknowledgement of innovation and progress. We underscore the tenacity, the desire to overcome difficulties, because we want to achieve the greater good, which is taking care of persons and their health. Vocation needs freedom. It is indispensable if we are to heal well. This is what Dr. Juana Barca said and lived. This, of course, would not have been possible without the contribution of an international jury. Five distinguished personalities, among whom the winner of the first uh, uh, prize, Jean Laurent Casanova, Dr. Silvia Priori, who is an Italian cardiologist and researcher, Spanish paleontologist Juan Luis Arzuaga, and Professor Federico de Montalvo, a doctor in law, and of course, former president of uh, the Bioethics Community of Spain since 2019, chaired by Professor Alberto Munoz. So Professor Munoz 
kindly join me and read out the minutes. Thank you. Thank you. In a telematic meeting, the jury of a Barker Prize in its second edition, made up of Professors Juan Luis Arzuaga, Silvia Priori, Jean-Laurent Casanova, and Federico de Montalvo, chaired by Professor Alberto Munoz and Dr. Jose Maria Castellano, acting as secretary, agrees to award the Abarca Prize to Professor Philippe Sansonetti. This is for his research on shigellosis, commonly known as bacillary dysentery, a diarrheal disease caused by the shigella bacterium that is responsible for hundreds of thousands of deaths annually in developing countries, particularly of children. Professor Sansonetti's work has been essential for understanding the stages of infection by this bacterium, how it develops, and how the body's immune system reacts to the infection and the bacteria against it, studies that make up his definition of cellular microbiology. In addition, Professor Sansonetti has carried out an ambitious study on the pathogenesis of childhood stunting and associated pediatric environmental enteropathy in sub-Saharan Africa. This is the first etiology of malnutrition in infants in low-income areas and responds to the overgrowth of an abnormal microbiota or dysbiosis in the small intestine, which is responsible for chronic inflammation of the mucosa and intestinal atrophy that in turn reduces digestive and absorption functional capacities. This study made it possible to identify the composition of this dysbiosis, elucidate the pathogenesis of the disease and offer biomarkers for early detection, as well as preventive and therapeutic solutions to eliminate growth and psychomotor retardation that are the main consequences of pediatric environmental enteropathy. In summary, Professor Sansonetti has made outstanding basic discoveries in the multidisciplinary field of microbial pathogenesis while developing translational research programs aimed largely at improving child health in the most impoverished areas of the planet in line with the Hippocratic and humanitarian vision and action of Dr. Abarca. By awarding this prize, the jury wants to highlight the importance of biomedical research for improving the health of the population and the evolution of society, and the relevant contribution of Professor Philippe Sansonetti to this task. July 18, 2022, the debate is closed. Professor Philippe Sansonetti is a microbiologist and professor at the Pasteur Institute, director of the Instrum since 18. His findings have allowed for the understanding of various aspects of the pathogenesis of the bacterium. This is a disease which is responsible for the death of hundreds of thousands of children. Dr. Sansonetti's activities have been fundamental in understanding how the infection occurs, how it develops, and how the body reacts. He has also completed an ambitious study on pathogenesis in Sub-Saharan Africa. Dr. Professor Sansonetti is considered to be one of the founders of the field of cellular microbiology. His findings have been absolutely essential. His programs for translational research basically target improving the health of children in impoverished parts of the world. In line with the vision, of Dr. Juana Barca, his research makes of Professor Philippe Sansonetti the winner of the Abarca Prize, Abarca Prize at Profectum Medicinae. Congratulations to Professor Sansonetti.
thank you very much for that outstanding activity in the field of microbiology. Thank you for your research, doubtless pioneering and absolutely essential to improve the health of children. Dr. Elena Abarca, please, on behalf of the family, together with Dr. Silvia Casson, Secretary of State for Health, join me in order to hand the Abarca Prize to Professor Sansonetti. Join me, please. Thank you. Uh, dear Madam, Madam Secretary of State, dear member of the Abaca Foundation of the Scientific Committee, uh, chaired by Professor Alberto Munoz, dear Dr. Abarca and doc, Dr. Abarca's family, uh, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, and dear Nicole, my dear wife, uh, I'm delighted to receive the award of the Abarca Prize for uh, biomedical research uh, this uh, year. I, I sincerely take it as a recognition, of course, of my work, but also of the work of my colleagues at Institute Pasteur over the years. I also recognize it as a sort of, you know, understanding and, and showing that uh, basic research and biomedical or translational research in infectious diseases is an essential element in research. And I guess COVID-19 experience, pandemic, has shown how much research uh, was essential and how much it had impacted on the control of the disease at all stages, from the diagnostic to uh, the uh, possible treatments at some point, and, and maybe moreover uh, on the discovery and, and implementation of a vaccine uh, in nine years, in nine months, sorry. So nine years was before, nine months is now. Uh, so this is really uh, showing the importance. And uh, actually, this also shows how much uh, foundations can be important in this modern landscape of biomedical science. Of course, they recognize individuals and give prizes. This is beautiful. But they also recognize uh, you know, the importance, again, of, 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 of science uh, in, uh, and support this science in areas, in niches that are not necessarily always supported by academic funding. So this is another important function. And I guess the third and possibly more, most important function is the fact that they really push forward uh, on the front stage research and show to the public, to the population, how much, again, research is important as a driver uh, of progress of the modern societies. And I must say that during this pandemic, I was sad to see that this vision of science driving evolution of societies was not necessarily shared by everybody. So foundations play an important role in this. My research, and it's been very kindly uh, acknowledged by Professor Munoz and also in the movie, was sincerely and really driven by my passion for medicine. And medicine, in a way, is a sort of multidisciplinary exercise. And I guess that consciously or unconsciously, I applied this sort of medical approach to my research. And by merging uh, bacterial genetics, cell biology, uh, immunology, histopathology, as I said, help also because in the 80s, 90s, we started to see fantastic revolutionary progress in techniques like imaging, for instance. Confocal imaging was a big change. Uh, of course, 
genomics occurred, genome sequencing, you know, all this coalesced into a new approach of infectious diseases. And this is why Shigella, in a way, became sort of uh, one of the models to study, decipher, dissect mechanisms of infections. And what it says is that multidisciplinarity is important because it creates interfaces. And really, in our experience, we've done observations, could say discoveries, at these interfaces. And she has served really us as a sort of red thread to understand pathogenesis. And I think it had a general value to study other process of infections by other microorganisms. To just summarize in a few words, I mean, Shigella showed us how microbes can, by injection system, secretion system, inject molecules that subvert the physiology of cells. Uh, thanks to Shigella, we identify some of the first dangerous signals that the host sends when it's infected by a microorganism, like apoptosis of macrophages, coupled in this particular case with massive production of interleukin-1, which is a very, very strong pro-inflammatory molecule. Uh, we, thanks to Shigella, which lives in the cytosol of cells and plays with the cytoskeleton of the cells, uh, identify cytosolic receptors, the node molecules that sense the microbe, that sense the peptidoglycan, which is the cell wall component of the microbe. So, uh, in a way, uh, Shigella also showed us uh, how all these molecules injected by these secretion apparatus can subvert the immune response and subvert it at very unexpected level, like epigenetic remodeling of the cell, control of canals secreting ATP, all sorts of mechanisms that Chigela actually educated us uh, to identify and to understand. So all this made a sort of corpus of, of knowledge, which uh, we in general call, as mentioned, cellular microbiology. Uh, we also more recently adapted and addressed the question of symbiotic interaction, trying to figure out the molecular crosstalks that exist, are established between symbiotic microorganisms and host, and how this biosis can cause pathological uh, situations. So this is, I guess, uh, uh, an approach of, of, of very general value. Of course, it's still, and again, my passion for medicine, which drove us to do translational medicine, uh, to develop vaccines against chilegidosis, and uh, hopefully within the next two or three years, we will have an available vaccine against Shigella infection, which is not only causing bacillary dysentery and very harmful lesion to the kids and the acute phase, but it's also now recognized as one of the causes of uh, chronic malnutrition and developmental process in children. So a vaccine is needed, and I hope uh, it will be soon available. And of course, as mentioned again, uh, we worked on uh, the uh, malnutrition uh, in young children. My passion again, I've been traveling throughout the world in Asia, in Bangladesh, in India, in Vietnam, in Africa, of course. And so what it is for a young child to be sick in these areas. And I think that most of my aim, and I'm sure it's in the values of the Abaka Foundation, is to try to do as much as possible as we can uh, to improve uh, the health of these kids. Because it's not just an issue of immediate health, it's also an issue of development. It's an issue of social role that they can play in countries that need these children uh, to progress. So this is all I wish to say in the perspective of this work. Again, I'm extremely uh, honored to receive and accept this prize. And uh, the most difficult is, uh, is of course, uh, to come. Uh, muchas gracias. Por este primo. Thank you very much for this Abarca Prize. Congratulations to the Abarca Foundation, and good afternoon all. Thank you so very much, Professor. I'm now going to give the floor to Dr. Silvia Calzon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Castellanos, Dr. Barca, 
President of HM Hospitalis, Secretary General of Research with the Ministry of Science, Representative of uh, the Treasury of the region of Madrid. Good afternoon to all. I have to say that I'm delighted to be here this afternoon. It's um, very touching to participate here in this uh, in this delivery of the Abarca Prize. I have to apologize, Juan. Last year, as you remember, I was not able to be with all of you. This afternoon, I'm very happy to share time with you because it's an extremely interesting, extremely interesting event. Thank you for the invitation, and thank you, of course, for the initiative proper, because this initiative, I believe, truly achieves two objectives. The first objective is to cast a spotlight to ensure visibility the world of science, the world of research and investigation, which allows us to progress. But also very important is that this allows us to address the figure of Juan Abarca, pay homage to Dr. Abarca and his values. I have, of course, to say congratulations to the recipient, Professor Sansonetti. Congratulations. And thank you. Thank you. It's more than four decades of working hard, a lifetime of commitment, engagement, and passion. Research, of course, investigation in multidisciplinary areas, which encompass biology, medicine, genetics, molecular genetics, cellular biology, immunology, to the possible development of vaccines to tackle shigellosis. There's no doubt that this prize aims at rewarding the career of those who have more than proven their scientific excellence and thus contribute to the result of those uh, activities, thus changing the lives of people and improving the lives of people. And the consequences in this case, the consequences of this scientific progress are measured in the improvement of health of millions of persons. I'm referring, of course, here to research on shigellosis. Let's please remember that this disease every year affects more than 80 million persons, 8, oh, 80 million. And we heard, of course, it is in the poorer parts of the world. And please remember, over 700,000 lives are lost every year. The jury has perfectly well described the merits of the recipient, the development of research programs on parogenesis, of stunting, and the uh, mental anthropathy, which is associated also to malnutrition in infants in some parts of sub-Saharan Africa. And, of course, his current participation in research to develop vaccines that would be able to tackle shigellosis, which is uh, what causes, as I say, these uh, terrible uh, effects. So, Professor, congratulations and thanks. Thanks are due. I also have to say thank you to HM Hospitals, together with other stakeholders in public health care and in the sphere of private health care in our country, worked jointly throughout the pandemic in order to jointly build a first contention wall that would protect the population of our country until vaccines were available. Congratulations, of course, to Dr. Juan Abarca Campal, who is the honorary president of HM Hospitals, and his wife, Dr. Carmen Sidon, the founders of this uh, organization. And my acknowledgement are due because this is a lifelong trajectory, a professional trajectory that speaks of the very important values, humanism in the world of medicine. This has to do with healthcare, with teaching, with research, and more recently, when we talk about research, we know that HM Hospitalis has advanced tremendously in the field of cancer research and neuroscience, focusing on neurodegenerative diseases such as Parkinson's. And if we address the issue of research and innovation, let me briefly address an initiative which I think paves the way in the public 
private collaboration or partnership in the field of research and innovation. And I'm referring specifically to the approval in November 21, a project which is within the bailiwick of the Ministry of Health. And this PERTE actually aims at taking advantage of a wonderful opportunity to take advantage of synergies that will allow us to continue to care for the general population's health thanks to research, innovation, and thanks also to data in digital health as vectors of transformation. So we're looking at different approaches, medicine, artificial intelligence, advanced therapies, because the aim, of course, is to facilitate the transfer of R&D from the field of academia to the industrial sector. It is absolutely essential to unfurl the kind of governance that will rely on the participation of all of the stakeholders in order to guarantee an ongoing flow of dialogue and communication. And thus, the alliance is built, Salud and Vanguardia, which relies on the work, engagement, and commitment of all of the stakeholders involved, the public administration, centers, and departments of biomedical research, hospitals, different healthcare centers, and, of course, companies, from the tiniest to the largest. So in a nutshell, this is hard work, but hard work which is necessary. Together, we must join forces because we face a major challenge, a challenge which is, of course, also a wonderful opportunity, the opportunity of actually achieving milestones such as consolidating biomedical research as an engine in our productive sector ensuring that the healthcare system in Spain is a benchmark the world over for precision personalized medicine and the development of new skills and capacities ensuring that we are truly competitive. And what's most important, of course, is the deployment of our capacities in the field of research and innovation. This is what will encourage us to achieve the best possible healthcare system that will target improving and protecting the health of the population in general and the lives of persons. I'm coming to the end of my address by once again saying congratulations, Professor Sansonetti, and thank you for your hard work. Thank you for your research. And of course, congratulations to HM Hospitalis for taking advantage of these activities in the field and for this initiative of awarding prizes because this acknowledgement contributes to spotlighting this mission which looks at innovation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Doctor. We have come to the end of this session. Thank you very much for joining us, and I hope that you continue to enjoy this evening at the Felipe Cuarto Hall. And thank you all very much once again for being with us on this very special occasion.